hi yeah so today we are featuring my school my school 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 yeah toronto school of management yes how is everyone doing i believe we are all doing well welcome back to my youtube channel how was your week how did you spend it share in the comment section yes so if this is the first time you are <clears throat> joining my youtube channel or seeing this post or coming across this you are you are so 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 welcome yes this is basically a Ghanaian girl living a Canada life and sharing her experiences and today we are going to talk about The school that finally made me come to Canada. Yeah. Toronto School of Management. Yes. Um, let's go straight to the point. Okay. So, the story about Toronto School of Management. Today, I'm going to share it. Yeah, I'm going to share it. In fact, let me position the phone in a way that would make my almighty school coming because if this school didn't let me come to canada i would have been in ghana still yeah so this is my school this is my school <laughs> okay yeah so um in 2018 a pursuit for schooling outside revived again after my old boy died child girl was stressed she wasn't happy so i was like oh maybe if i travel outside if i school outside i'm gonna be happy so i started searching for schools so 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 many schools every day day in and day out after work i would Google schools, affordable schools, schools that provide scholarship, school with easy um, entry into Canada, Charlie, you name it. So many search engines to the extent that there are times that you'll be there and automatically you get like emails from the various websites that you visited that oh these are some schools that you can take a look the cheapest schools in canada the what what place in here what 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 so one day in 2019 early 2019 i was like no i've completed undergrad that was two years ago at the time in 2017 and i need to further my education i need to do something the fact that opino day doesn't mean that girl doesn't have to keep on achieving her dreams because i remember one of the statements that my dad used to tell me is i can get you the whole world i can build mansions for you but then at the end of the day the best i can give you is an education because no one can take that from you charlie that statement that my puppy made eh? that statement that my daddy made really sat with me because i think prior to 2019 2014 2015 that i'm about i was pressuring my dad hey i'm going you know he has to build me a house he has to get me this he has to get me that because maybe i don't intend staying in the family house for long and all those kind of stuff and that was what he would tell me every time it really sat with me and sunk into my head because obviously if, if you are reading who's going to take that knowledge from you nobody so after i was able to gain my strength after griefing and going through lots of disappointments from family members from places that i thought could give me hope i was like girl just go back 
I was like, girl, just go back to looking for schools and see how it works. It goes. So 2019, I was just searching on Google. If I clearly remember what I searched, I was like, Yeah, I was like, um, schools with easy entry to Canada. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and then I got Toronto School of Management. At first, I looked at the school and I was like, oh, I already have an undergrad. But the program that they have is all diploma, diploma, advanced diploma programs. And um, I have an undergrad. Now, diploma, the medical aid. That was what I said, honestly. So I kept scrolling down. Then I saw that they have ACC pathway programs. Oh, girl, I was so happy because at the time I had also started my ACC career. I had started ACC in 2016. But then I write and feel, I write and feel, and I had to stop at a point to mourn my dad and... I was always using my, my dad's demise as an excuse to keep writing my papers. So when I came across the ACCA pathway programs, I was like, oh, and they say we're crampo here because it's higher than undergrad and it's, it's also higher than the diploma or advanced diploma programs. So I started reading about it. And then me point it to my beer, anytime I close from work, I just go ahead read yes honestly anytime i close from work read even sometimes at my lunch breaks at work how open to me i'm always on my phone and honestly actually i wasn't happy any general day in any any general day so i was like i just have to go so girl was just looking through doing everything that she wanted to do just so she could come to Toronto School of Management. So on their portal they just have this um is 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 one of the simplest ways to get information from schools. They just ask for your name, your email address, program of your choice, and I think the year you would want to enter <clears throat> at that time. Yeah, in 2018, 2019. So I just put in my my details, and then I had a student advisor contacted me or hey, contact me in 20 early 2019 about yeah. So when that happened, or was it late 2018? Whichever one, they contacted me and they were like, "Oh, I'm a good fit." For the ACCA program, so I even wrote mails to ACCA asking for my transcript. Charlie, if you see my transcript, you run away. Hey. Except for the exemptions, the few exemptions I got because I got a first class from my undergrad. The, the rest, fail, 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 fail. Oh my God! <laughs> so I just sent a mail to ACC and then requested for my transcripts. They sent me my transcripts. I sent to Toronto School of Management. I can't really remember the name of my student advisor at the time, but trust me, whoever that person was, was pushing me. The person was just pushing, hey, at a point I was like, and then and then I sent me like, and you know, sometimes when God wants you to get something, He's going to bring people in your way that's going to push you. Like, even if the, those people, you feel they are cutting off your head. They are not cutting off your head because they want to kill you or they want something bad to happen to you. But they are pushing you because they want you to get the best. Yeah. So, hey, this student advisor sent me an email after I sent my ACCA transcript and my undergrad transcript. I was like, oh, I'm a best fit. When can we schedule for a call? Blah blah blah. And I was like, cool. I scheduled or was a scheduled or a scheduled or so whichever one a call. I think the following day. Yeah, the following day. And because of the time difference, 
the time that he would call me no no my and juma i had closed from work so i could really take my time and talk to him and say all that i wanted to say <laughs> to him you know then after the call the call happened after the call the they sent me an email that oh congratulations you have been admitted into the acca pathway program and um i remember the student advisor was really pushing me and i told him that honestly i don't have money oh it is snowing i was like honestly skater mbeshka like I don't have money i can't afford the fees then he was like oh they have the scholarship opportunities that they give to students and trust me i have applied to schools plenty of times so many times but then even with the ACA pathway program it was so easy entering into the school i was like like getting the admission or getting the offer actually it was so easy so when I told him I didn't have money, he was like, oh, ask family members or ask people. I was like, I don't have anybody. Then I was like, oh, my dad was like my biggest source of hope and finance and, you know, anything that I've ever wanted in, in my life. So since he's not there, I don't think I can achieve this dream of schooling outside. And he was like, you know, what? I'm going to help you. He was going to speak with his boss or someone to let me write the aptitude an aptitude test i didn't have any idea about an aptitude test so uh, we'll see if it would put me into the pool for scholarship i was like okay that sounds good really sounds good i was happy yeah i was happy so Three days, four days came, he got back to me and he sent me the emails and information on how to write the test. And the test was the Wonderlic test. I had no idea about, so he was like, I should just take my time. I should, there was a link at the time. I wrote mine in 2019 or 2018. So at the time he was like, there was a link that you just have to click on to test the water test, test to see how if you want to write this aptitude test or scholastic test how it's gonna look like so i did it and i liked the questions because i was like oh come as i actually try to erase it with a big grumble we cried the 10 commas yeah my people in ghana will understand so basically i said oh this is cool because We've written maths so many times. You always said maths. Uh, this one guy is, is is cooler than those papers. Yeah, so then then I just wrote the I went online, wrote the test and it came and I had passed. It's a combination the test is a combination of English, maths science and i think general knowledge like general knowledge at the time so i wrote it i passed i was shocked i was like whoa so i'm gonna get a scholarship to read my acca like program and trust me anybody that knows me knew said i was always rooting for acca because like you know the international body and even if you had chatted in Burundi, you can use that knowledge in the US or in Canada or in Togo or in Ireland. So I was always rooting for ACC. So I was so, 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 so happy. And then the shock of the moment came. Even with the scholarship, girl, girl couldn't afford the fees. I was like, hey, you right yet? Yes, sir. I contacted a few close people of mine. Charlie, I had the shock of my life. Because I had done my calculation. But once I get the opportunity, I come here, I read, I pass, I get a job. 
maybe my first month my first two months or three months would be able to pay off my debt so i was just trying i was just begging people it was just a sad moment i was just begging people there was this uncle of mine that i even went to ask him and he was like oh you're a smart lady and when he has a little to go and study and just after Toronto School of Management sent me the offer and I couldn't afford, you know, as I told you in my previous videos, I was always applying. Just within in a week, I got two offers, one from Toronto School of Management and one from this school's <clears throat> affiliate, that's University Canada West. I actually didn't even know that this school and University Canada West are linked together. We'll talk about that story maybe some other time. I have so many stories. So I was like, okay. It is what it is. Then I just sent an email to my student advisor that, honestly, I really appreciate him, like, pushing for me, getting the school. But then I can't because I can't even afford it. And I remember what he said was like, you can get a bank loan you can get something you can take loans from family members they, sh they should be able to push you because the moment you come here things are going to change and in, in within the shortest possible time you would be able to regain your financial capacity and then pay them back and i was like yes but honestly there is no help coming from anywhere so maybe sometime in the future and that was when that that was when the the dream of coming to toronto school of management died i forgot about the school i didn't think about the school and now i was searching for schools that provide full scholarship and you see sometimes in life eh, let me say this know yourself know your capacity and that capacity will help you carry whatever load that you have to carry yes so what happened was i was just going about my life activities and then in 2021, 2021 came, I had lots of shocks in 2021. Yeah. And one of the shocks, I think the major shock was what pushed me to start searching for schools again. Because I think the first part of 2021, I think probably the first 10 months, no, October, November, December. So the first eight months of 2021, I was like, oh, I have a master's degree from Legon. I have a good job. So I'm okay. I stopped searching for schools. I stopped the dream, the Canadian dream, a butchery dream. I stopped. So I had a major shock within the third quarter of 2021. And I was like, damn, this is the time for you to go. I was like, this is just the time for you to go. Charlie, the shocks were coming front back center. Hey, from friends, from family, from you name it. Hey, it was just coming back to back. Hey. <laughs> it was too much to handle. So I started applying for schools again. I had totally forgotten about this school. It didn't even come to mind. And this time I was just searching for schools and the search was schools with um, schools located in Canada with the best temperatures a day. Yeah, I just didn't want to go to the the northern side because that's cold like the north pole area yeah 
in schools that I could afford. And Toronto School of Management appeared in the first search. And when it appeared in the first search, I just checked the programs. And this time, because I was desperate, I just needed, I wanted to leave Ghana. I just wanted to leave. And at this time, because I had applied to so many schools, I had all my documents together. I have every copy scanned on my phone. I have, so I'll scan, I'll scan it with my Adobe scanner on my phone, send an email to my myself. So I have some in my email and then WhatsApp some too to myself and save it in Adobe Reader as a one way. In the end, yeah. Anywhere I open, yeah, I'm getting my documents at hand. And so I'm working and I still have my documents with me. Everything. So it appeared and then I just looked at the program. I didn't even have any interest because at that time to Enchebiana, my chartered accountant, I was left with just one paper to be chartered. So I was like, what can come, can come. So I just filled the form again. And this time I saw a program of interest, digital business management. I was like, hey, but previously, because I had read about Toronto School of Management and I knew like what they do, I wasn't so scared. But then I saw co-op, co-op, and I read, I went to Google and then searched again that what's the meaning of co-op in Canada, like for students to sit in day. And they came explaining that it's like uh, it's part of your academic program but this one gives you work experience after you are done with you still have some few months which ranges from three months to eight months then they would you Canadian work experience and I was like whoa this is good then I just went to the portal and then filled the form that, yeah, Toronto School of Management makes life easy. Once you visit their portal, you click on a particular program. They just have a form there. You fill, you fill with your details, your name, the program of your choice, whatever you want there. And then in less than three days or 72 hours, you get someone sitting in your mail asking you, if you are interested and if you want to go ahead or whatever your interests are, are you available for a call? So I did it and then I did it on a on a weekend. I did it I think um somewhere ending September ending, yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. So me I had done it and then I've really forgotten about it. Two, three days later. And I'm the type that I'm always checking my emails. Yeah. I think my emails and LinkedIn are my social media. Then WhatsApp, they just go there and make noise on, on my WhatsApp status and my, I just go somewhere. But my social media is my LinkedIn and then my emails. I was always sitting on my emails because Maybe I'm looking for something, so it's. Then I I saw an email from someone asking for my availability for a call. So then then I just responded that oh I just checked the time difference in Canada and I think at the time it was like one p.m. in Ghana, but it was like. An upper in Canada, like 7 a.m. in Canada or 8 a.m. maybe. Then me, I just told the person that I sent an email that I'll be closing at 5 with a 4. So he can call me at this time. Even though it was late in Ghana, it was an official working hours or working hour in Canada. So I got home. Charlie was so much in a hurry. I got home, sat by my phone, like, just waiting for the call to come. 
lo and behold the, the person called and that is when it all began he asked me of my program of choice i was like honestly this is my background yeah i have an accounting background i have a finance background and i'm also writing my professional exams to be chatted so i just want a program that would be fun and also would make me relocate to canada because this is what i want i want to be out of ghana he was like okay i recommend this program to you so he recommended digital business management to me then right after the call he sent me the program lineup he sent me all the information and then he asked for he sent me a link where i can apply and i applied with my age because one of their major requirements is you should be more than 18 years because if you are more than 18 years you can take care of yourself in a new country yeah so it should be more than 18 years my name my email address my educational background are you from an english-speaking country which was yes and then i attached my transcript and that was it the easiest one of the easiest ways of applying for a school that was it the next day so in less than a week i had applied to a school i had gotten an offer the offer came and girl didn't as usual girl didn't have money but this time i was ready to go and um i discussed with one of my very good friends and then she was like sandra you've been wanting to go to canada and yet today is not the first time you've been wanting to go to canada and today is not the first time you've been wanting to travel even outside because yours was to just leave your comfort zone so this time it is not just the fact that you are wanting to go but this is also the time that god wants you to move this is the time that God wants you to move. Looking at all the things that you are going through. This is the time for you to move. And it really pushed me. Thankfully, the time that the, the whatever came, the offer came, it was a time that like maybe like in the next 30 days a human they will pay us our bonus but then the school had given me a few days i think three or four days to respond to accept the offer and then make an, an initial commitment so i just had to ask two close friends of mine for the money because i had asked a family member and I had discussed with a family member and shared my offer, like my admission letter, no setting, to this person, and the person didn't really sound interested. So I just asked some colleagues of mine at work. That it's um, this is it. And the thing is, every year I was applying. Every year I was applying. So this one came. I just checked. I, I just did a few calculations. I was like, I can't go. Then my colleagues at work were like, Sandra, we are ready to support you. If this is the dream that you want. I remember one lady was like, Sandra, you've tried this. You've tried this. Uh, this is the time for you to go. And that was it. And now this is me. In Toronto School of Management. And it is the best decision I would, I would say I have made so far. Apart from giving my life to Christ, obviously. Yes. This is a very good decision and I don't regret it. I came here not knowing a lot of stuff. I've come to meet amazing people.
from school, my colleagues at school, my classmates, course mates, to the amazing lecturers. Oh my God. It's just beautiful. It's just so, 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 so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Yes. So this is the story behind me getting into Toronto School of Management. I remember even when I got this opportunity at a point me I had already made the initial payment by the courtesy of my friends who helped me push financially. And then as I was saying in my previous video, talking, 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 telling people, I told one other person, I see oh maybe I a scam. It is a scam. What what what? So I'm not kind of pre imagining C B B so so when I got the offer letter no, I checked the student number, I just copied and pasted in my email. I checked and then they had given me the student number from twenty nineteen. Is remember the ACCA part of the program? No? Yes, the student number that they gave me from that program. No? That was the same student number they had given me this time. Then I showed to the I showed to the person that this is authentic, and I was ready. Like nobody, nothing. It wasn't pushing me. And this time, I stopped talking about it to people that I know. So we say, saying that you are an intelligent, smart woman, so staying in Ghana would be okay. Yes, I understand them. They want the best for me. But sometimes, the best that people want for you is it's just the best that they think you deserve. But the best that you want for yourself is probably different from the best that other people want for you. Yeah, and I'm not saying this to demean anybody and their advice or anything, no. But then I'm just saying it to let people know that when you come across someone with a big dream, with an ambition, who keeps pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, the best you can do for that person is just to help the person. Just help the person. When you help the person and the person gets to a better place and that person is a very, very grateful human being, Come on, this person would even come back with more than a thousand folds of what you've done for them. Yes. But if you are trying to help the person and you now you know from in kind to take, said this person is an ungrateful human being. So yeah, dear man of God, own few That's when you stop pushing the, the, the person. But when you know, say, ah, this person can do it, this person has a can do spirit is non-resilient to say is resilient to say the profit is not even coming you get to know that this person is always pushing because most of us all the time we are talking and complaining and complaining it's just one thing and if that one thing happens in our life if that one thing happens in our life it just shuts us up and it makes us grow and glow yes so with this with this video i just want to thank that um, major disappointment that came in my life in 2021, I want to thank that disappointment. Because if that disappointment didn't come, I would have still been in Ghana. And there, 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 there is someone who has been able to even come to Canada because I am here and I shared my experience with that, with that person. And the person is, is here living the, their life. You get it so if this major disappointment didn't come and i wasn't ready to move out of my comfort zone this time i would have even delayed someone's blessing <clears throat> yeah i would have delayed someone's blessing yes so thank you guys so much this video is not so so emotional but then Certain faces, as I was just trying to record the story and tell you guys the story, made me quite emotional. Thank God we didn't cry. I thank God we didn't cry. But then basically, I just want you to know that 
whichever dream you want to dream baby dream it and just don't don't just dream it start acting towards it start acting towards it don't give up don't give up but the moment you start wanting something and you realize that Charlie, it keeps coming over and over and over and over and over again. Just know that it is God working with you, making sure that the Holy Spirit is pushing you to achieve that dream. Yes, because I am here always thanking God and being grateful. You get it? Because I am here. And I be, me, I just love the fact that I've been able to come here and I have shared a few tips to someone and the person has, has gotten a share. I am it, Papa. I am very, very happy. And that person will be thanking God. And you see, the, the Thanksgiving offering is going to increase. Get it? So, basically, that's that. I think the my fish vase it's a water vase in idea from now till 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 we will be hearing it a lot yes because it's not because of my my video that i would we will turn it off for my fishes to be a and then they what do they call it for my fishes to be in in trouble or something yeah so basically that's that i am in toronto school of management Remember, I was saying, I was saying that they are program na diploma they me dikwa kwa yede. Asa ni ba critical ano? Inye diploma diploma na me because that is what I can afford. And trust me, you are doing a diploma program here, advanced diploma program here, or even a postgraduate diploma here. This program or such programs are even giving you more work experience. Because the program has been designed in such a way that you are getting the work experience together with practical academic experience. Yes, I think some months ago or in January or February, I shared a video about me um, working on an Ethernet cable. Yeah, that was from my cyber security class. If I didn't come here, I thought cyber security was like something. <sighs> but then I love it. I love it so much that I don't even know if I should just push all my academic credentials aside and then think of going into cyber security. So, yes. So, <clears throat> basically, that is it. Here, the programs that are in all the schools. Are equipping you it's not just reading 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 no the programs are equipping you for the market world or say for the job market yes for the job market you can be in school and still be working in in a position that maybe someone with a phd from ghana or africa is not working in that position and this is because all the programs in the school are, are tailored to making sure that students are really 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 equipped like when i say equipped because th there are always workshops career workshops i don't want to sell myself because i haven't attended a lot maybe just one or two zoom meetings but trust me the programs really really equip you oh yes the programs really really equip you so yeah I am happy I made this decision because even if even if after school crap I say I'm coming back to my home country and I don't want to practice here or I don't want to further my education here boy, the experience that I have that I have been able to achieve or get here oh, it will put me on a higher pedestal yeah ranging from awesome and lovely classmates to the lecturers to even the environment the food 
different culture like oh my god you will just love it yes so that said this video was quite some way but i hope you guys love it and then um yeah please don't forget to subscribe share your comments in the comment section below like give me some thumbs up because this youtube thing is is youtubing i yeah give me some thumbs up your girl is is just trying i'm, I'm really trying to come out of my comfort zone yeah because i know i like talking i love public speaking but i think i was doing it <clears throat> with the wrong people or in a wrong way no no with the wrong people i was doing it in a, in a wrong way yes yeah, so now i'm gonna use this youtube channel to share my experiences yes the people on my whatsapp status are actually tired of me because as for them they've they've heard and seen all whatever they want to see and even the things you're not supposed to see and and hear they've heard it all yes so thank you so so much thanks to everyone i really appreciate you getting the time to watch this video yes and if you're thinking of pursuing a program or something you can choose toronto school of management yeah stay tuned for my next video bye